Tonight's Project Earth begins in Berkeley with a bright yellow powder, an intrepid graduate student, and a pioneer in chemistry. Together, they've created an innovative way to pluck a planet warming gas right out of the air, breaking new ground in the fight against climate change. The drenching rains, record-breaking heat, as well as more severe floods and droughts. Extreme weather events have become more frequent and intense as CO2 levels surge, further warming the planet. Even if the world immediately stops using fossil fuels, experts warn hundreds of billions of tons of CO2 will remain in the air, causing further damage. The goal? To bring the gas down to pre-industrial levels. Now, this bright yellow powder, invented at the University of California at Berkeley, may be the game changer. The CO2 concentration directly dropped down to zero. Just a half a pound of it removes as much carbon dioxide from the air as a full-grown tree. I was very, actually, very excited. Meet Ziwei Zhou, a fourth-year graduate student in the Department of Chemistry. Ziwei does research in the Yagi lab, named after the pioneering chemist Omar Yagi. And I looked at Ziwei and I said, you have solved society's most pressing problem. Ten years ago, Professor Yagi created a material that could suck water out of desert air. Now, thanks to Ziwei, the lab has now designed a material that quickly sucks carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, a daunting challenge. It's a monumental problem to take it out of the air because it's mixed with other gases and is dilute, although harmful, but dilute. And that makes it even a, a supremely harder problem. Seen microscopically, the material is known as a covalent organic framework, or COF for short. We have a column here, and it's like a straw. Z-Way tested the compound in a special device, packing the powder into a straw-like cylinder to filter the air. The student first pumped in a mix of gases to simulate air. We mix all the cylinders, the coating nitrogen, oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide. But he also tested it on real air pumped in yeah. from just outside the lab. The, the tube is like located just outside the balcony. In hundreds of cycles. It was a beautiful result. The air was completely cleansed of CO2, and it was doing it repeatedly. After the filter is full, the gas can be removed and stored, and the filter used again. The next step to deploy it on an industrial scale. The hope that capturing carbon will make us all breathe a little easier. For more details on this game-changing creation, just go to KPIX.com.